What's up, beautiful people? And welcome back to another Unapologetically Mercy original. <laughs> Today in this video, we will be covering the astrology transit of Mercury entering the sign of Aries. So if you're interested and you want to learn more about this transit, stay tuned and let's get right into this video. about this transit is that mercury is the plant of communication communication is going to be something highlighted in this video during this time period so just be mindful yeah mm -hmm. mercury is also the ruler of the third and sixth houses the third house is the house of communication and the sixth house is the house of health Aries is a fire sign and Air Aries is all about action, your sex drive, drive, um, competition, assertion, action, aggression, impulsiveness. So with Mercury entering the sign of Aries, we can expect some fiery action driven communication towards a specific area of our life that we are just ready to take action and to communicate and express how we feel towards if it's career if it's relationship if it's business if it's your health whatever aspect of life that it might be for you this is like the basis of this is like the overall theme mercury will be in aries from april 3rd to april 19th what are some things that you might see with Mercury in Aries? This could be a time where you might, where you are feeling more self-confident, more courageous, and op and optimistic when it comes to yourself, or um, like when you're in your growth process and your healing process towards you know your career or whatever moves you're trying to make in the career space, your love, whatever type of moves you're trying to make towards your love space. You know, in the different areas of life, you're just overall feeling more confident. Um, you're feeling more passionate and self-confident in yourself and more optimistic. So you're probably this is also gonna be a good time for manifesting. Being in being in those vibrations of self-confidence will definitely help those manifestations come in. This will also be a time where you might be getting more clarity on a specific area of your life. Like I said earlier, it could be in the relationship world. Let's say there's someone that you're interested in, you have a crush on them, and you've been shy or you haven't been wanting to say how you feel and take that relationship to the next step. So maybe this is going to be the time where you're feeling courageous and confident enough to say, hey, I'm going to tell her, him, what it is, and whatever they say, you know, we'll move forward or we will not, you know? You're feeling more courageous to whatever whatever type of communication might come in the end and the response that might come after you say how you feel because it could be mutual and it could not be. When it comes to career, you know, maybe you're feeling like you need to make a career shift. Maybe you're feeling like the job that you're working or just the industry that you're in is just no longer for you. Maybe you're feeling like you want to try something new, something different. Maybe something way out of your comfort zone that might have been might have been you know, on your heart and your mind just lately. And you may you might have been like creating a plan towards it, but you haven't really been putting action towards it. This would be that time where you're putting more action and more you have more confidence in believing that you will be successful in this new career shift, even though it's new and different and you're like scared because you don't know what the result might be, you're strong, you're you're still gonna go for it with faith and hope that this will bring joy to your life. This will also be a good time where fresh ideas are just coming to your mind. So, you know, let's say you're starting a new business or you want to start a business or a side hustle or investing. Maybe this is a time where you're figuring out how to, you know, become more financially, financially literate so you can do all of the things of investing and starting your business or, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This will be the time those ideas come up and you're going to want to put some action towards it, whether that's creating your goal plan 
or you know your project plan writing down all of your ideas and then actually taking it step by step to go towards that goal so one thing that we should caution ourselves with mercury being in the sign of aries is that the dark side of aries can come up as very impulsive or very harsh so watch out for how you say certain things um be more think of what you're going to say before you say it um because it could come up it could come up harsh towards you know those loved ones that you're trying to communicate with and they might not receive it in the way that you want to want them to receive it because it might come up harsh to them you know might hurt their feelings we don't want to unintentionally hurt the loved one, you know hurt our loved ones feelings you know what i'm saying you might also you might also be having like frustrating moments like just maybe in your regular everyday life because i i can i've been feeling this energy i can say for myself but let's say um you know it could be people driving in traffic it could be you know you're spilling your coffee or you're being very you're being extra clumsy or you're forgetful or you know just some unexpected thing happened that you weren't you know planning for or expecting to happen through your day that might might cause you frustration but these moments are here to be lessons for us these lessons are going to teach us these lessons are helping us better ourselves and it's teaching us how to learn more patience and more understanding. This might also be a time where you're feeling like you just need to speak up for yourself more. Just like let your voice be heard, whatever it might be, whether it is just like you're trying to put up boundaries and, you know, your different relationships or you're trying to, you know, start a new business. And this requires you to, you know, step out of your comfort zone of like public speaking or you know just putting yourself out there on social media this will be a time where you're feeling like hey hey world this is who i am this is what i'm offering to the table you either like it or you don't if you do cool if you don't cool and keeping it push so another thing this kind of ties into what i said earlier about you know the fresh ideas or these different ideas coming to your mind be mindful of that because you might have seven ideas that might pop up in your head and you might want to try to do all of them at the same time and you might lead yourself to burning out and you know maybe stopping some projects altogether slowing down certain projects and you know like feeling mentally exhausted and whatnot so just be mindful of that yes write down your different ideas but just know that you will not you probably will not be able to do seven different projects at the same time. You will not be able to give each individual project the 100% that you are wanting to give it. So maybe not instead of seven, you just do two. And then you figure out how to schedule those two out or pick just one and just figure out exactly the action steps, the plan on how to get to the big goal and take those small action steps day by day, a few a day, I feel a week whenever extra time that you have on your hand to actually do this, do these projects, you know, just keep that in mind. How will Mercury and Aries impact me personally? Well, I would suggest that you look into your birth natal chart and you look and see where Mercury is in your house. Oh, what Mercury is, yeah. What is, what is in your Mercury or what is in your third or sixth house since that is what um, Mercury rules those houses but this will definitely be a time where communication and action of some sort in certain area of your life will be you know highlighted or this is a time for you to cultivate to use the energy and to cultivate those ideas and those new beginnings for yourself and also self-confidence and more courageous and optimism towards those areas of your life that you're communicating and putting action towards so yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today on Mercury and the, and the Zodiac sign of Aries. So if you have made it to the end of this video in the comments down below, leave a Aries emoji to let me know that you have made it to the end of this video. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, shares, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for help. Thank you for helping Unapologetically Mercy grow and grow. We would not be here if it wasn't for you okay okay 
So until next time, you guys stay blessed and peace, love, and high vibrations. Continue to continue to cultivate those new ideas. Continue to become, become the best version of yourself for these ideas and where you're heading and elevating in this into the next level of your life. Okay? Be big, be bold, be bad. Okay? Peace.